Hello everybody, Nikki from Gracie's House here. I'm a brand ambassador for Redesign with Prima and today's live it, um, in the Redesign with Prima group. I'm gonna be working on a sign. I'm just gonna pop a comment in because I found that that seems to open up the floodgates to seeing any other comments that come through. So it's um, one o'clock in the afternoon here. This is the last one that's gonna pull through at nine o'clock for you guys and then we're back to the eight o'clock um, time slot. So my, my time doesn't change, but our clocks change this weekend coming. So next week we're all back to the normal schedule. So drop me comments as you come on, just pop a comment in. I'll, I'll do my best to keep looking. I am gonna have to tilt the camera down a little bit. Um, we're gonna be working with several different products today. So can you tell I'm digging the Maisie and Willow um, range right now? So it's a different one to last week. This one's called Country Winds. I'm not going to be using the, the photo part that's got the windmill. I'm going to be using, um, the, let me see, I'll show you the back, that's better, isn't it? I'm going to be using the, um, the font, the, the typography part. So that's that one. I'm also going to be using, I haven't got a tube to show you, Pure Light Floral. Hi, Debbie. Um, haven't seen this one used very much, so I thought I'd um, throw this one into the mix. It's the, the florals in it are very, very delicate and pretty. Of course they're delicate and pretty. Of course they're beautiful. But I just haven't seen it used this this one very much. So I thought we'd throw those two things. Hi Shelley. Throw those two three things in. Um, I've pre-made some moulds from the Portico Scroll um, section. Section. Mould pieces. So I've got one of each. These, is, these are slightly smaller than the standard moulds, but the lovely thing is that you get a matching pair of those big scrolls. So that's brilliant. And I'm hoping that we're gonna get a chance to use the Elegant Scrolls stamp as well. So lots of different products to cover. I've got some waxes on the go. Um, and I've, got, I've also got one of the Sparks paint colors, which I'm hoping to try out for the stamp. So fingers crossed that works. I've seen other people do it, it looks amazing. So, okay, I'm gonna um, turn the camera down and um, like I said, I might struggle to see the comments more. I'm gonna do my best. Um, I'm hoping that Roz is watching as well and she can catch anything that I might miss. Oh yeah, I can see them if I bend down. Let's get going. So this is where we started. I just have a board. Um, it's actually a shelf, so we did some um, changing arounds of our wardrobe and I had a couple of these boards come out as they were shelves that we needed to, to remove. So I've painted them up, painted this one up. I've used Paint Couture um, Angel Eyes for the darker, for the bluey, bluey colour around the edge. And then the middle is angelic, so it's that sort of lovely vintage creamy sort of colour. So this is, this is the, um, the Pure Light Floral. Which, see, do you see what I mean? How pretty it is. Morning, Joan. It's really pretty. And there's some flowers in here that we haven't seen, perhaps, in some of the other um, transfers. And just really, really subtle and pretty. So you can see where I've got... I haven't stuck these down yet. These are my moulds. I've done one already. And then I've got one to finish with you guys. But let's get this part of the transfer on first. So we're going to deconstruct <clears throat> what I had ready. I just kind of wanted to show you how we can layer things up. So the reason I've gone for the scrolls is if you can see, it's got these really, really pretty faint scrolls in it as well. Nicoletta, hi, Veronique, all from Paris, lovely. So I kind of thought we'd follow that, that lovely um, scrolly goodness into the rest of the sign, basically. So I do like to kind of do an alternate corner um, when I'm kind of framing something out when I've not, not want to put florals or anything right the way around the whole piece. Hi, Jackie. Jackie, I feel like we haven't, I haven't seen you for ages. So I like to do, this, so it, this is upside down for me so that you can see it properly. This is the bottom and this is the top. And I like to weight it with something bigger at the bottom. It's just personal preference. This is just kind of how my, how my brain works. And, that, and that's it really. So let's just get started. So I'm putting the floral framework in first because I don't want to, to cover the, the wording up when we put the wording on. And I know we all love our French scripty wor words and finding out what the, 
I'm going to put that down because it will fall over. I'm finding out what the translation is, but this one's in English. <laughs> so it's great. We've got an English one. And I don't, don't get me wrong, I love the French ones and they're always so beautifully eloquent and romantic. But this has got some nice wording to it as well. They've always got such lovely sentiments. And it's lovely because it's a nice flat surface. I haven't had to top coat. You know, we always we always say with redesign with Prima Transfers, you do not need to top coat. Having said that, I do find that they, they go on to paint couture paint really, really very nicely. Um, because it's got the built-in top coat, I wonder whether that is why. Uh, it is quite a matte finish. Um, but I'm certainly finding it's kind of less work to, to get a transfer on when I'm using the paint couture. Don't those colours look beautiful together? It took me a while to decide what background colours to do. And I'm doing another sign today because the, the last one I did, I didn't do it live. Um... Heavily influenced by Roz, of course, because Roz is the sign queen. Um, it just sold at the weekend, so I thought, well, what better time to make another one? This is this is about, oh, I don't know, maybe a quarter of the size. It was a biggie, the last one. Lisa, you can hear the birds singing, probably. I had to shut the door, though, because literally just as I was about to press the live button, a helicopter went over, so I did shut the door. So they are, but I've had the doors open all day. I've actually been, not that I have to, but I like sanding outdoors when the weather's pleasant. It's the sun's out. It's a really lovely, lovely, lovely spring day here. Really, really pretty. And the colours go beautifully with the tones within um, the transfer. I'm glad I went for these. <laughs> so um, everyone that's watching, are you watching? I know there's names you don't need to answer. Those of you that I've seen you already, I suppose. But are, are you, is it your first time? Are you looking for... Um, are you looking for anything in particular? Are you wanting to have a go, but you're a bit nervous? Low to sand outside. Have you been stockpiling the things to sand? And now the spring's here. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna go for this big, big piece at the base. sort of vaguely following the guideline on that bottom to to follow um, the edge of my board so yeah it would be lovely to see this on more pieces I think I think when um, when we show them I think it gives people more ideas and you can see the details more I think there might have been one or two that I've seen um since the since the release came out of this particular transfer it just is kind of a an underused one i suppose it's got a lot the main the main transfer is this around the edge and then there's lots of wording in the middle um but the actual florals are very very pretty that's your excuse lisa is that the sorry if there's a bit of delay every now and then i have to I have to squat down so I can see the comments. Um, to not sanding is because the weather's poor. Well, I do feel your pain. I, up until the festival arrived, it, oh, I know exactly how you feel. Okay. 
So you can see, you know, this is gonna, this is the first stage. Then we're gonna add some of the, um, the stamps. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the wording on first. Or, oh, let's have a little think. I don't know if I'm gonna put the wording on first. I'll have to place it and just see where the stamps will go, and and work from there, and see how I want it layered. Okay, let's just. Start lifting. And do you see how smoothly they go on? Really, really nicely. Just make sure as you pull that you that your edges are stuck down and then the rest will follow if it's not quite there and then you can um, just rub those edges down with your finger. Shall I let you into a secret? I um, I cannot remember the name of this. I've had to write it on the back of my hand, can you see? Because <laughs> I can normally read it off the tube, this one just won't go in my head. So if anyone's wondering why it's written on the back of my hand, that's why. <laughs> I know some of you eagle-eyed people have probably already spotted it and thought that was the case. It's pretty Nicoletta, isn't it? It's, it's a really, really springy... It kind of makes me think a little bit of, um, of wedding flowers, I think, as well. Of a real oh, soft and romantic sort of wedding bouquet. How pretty. I've recently found in the next village on from me, how I've never discovered it before now, there's a proper cottage garden florist. Um, they, and they grow everything on site. And so, it, you know, things are limited and sell out quickly if you book certainly for like Mother's Day or um, any of those things, but they do obviously at the end of the season, they do dried. Um, I'm so excited to have just found them. I see lovely dried flowers in some staging coming on towards the end of the season. Patricia, hello. <laughs> Almost missed me. Do you know what it is this time change as well, isn't it? I think it, whether you're in it or not, it just confused, and, and I know last week I put up a, an announcement and I think that confused people even more. So I thought I'm not gonna bother this week. <laughs> it's back to normal next week. Do you know what else I forgot? I forgot to put my watch on. So I'm gonna have to do time checking. <coughs> Oops, check it. Something. Oh, so beautiful. I say it like I'm surprised. I mean, I know these are pretty. All of the transfers are pretty. But I kind of never get, I never get bored of the reveal. <laughs> and can you believe, I mean, those of you, those of you that are watching that have children, can you believe it's the Easter holidays at the end of this week already? <sighs> I can't believe it. We were supposed to be going away, but um, we missed we missed the COVID rules cut off by a couple of weeks, so we had to cancel our Easter holiday, unfortunately. But I guess that means you get to see my face an extra time that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Let's just do this 
last floral piece. Just do the little line up, press it down. So you'll notice for so I always I always have both of the tools on on my um, to hand. Today I'm just favouring this one. I alternate sometimes. I alternate if I'm on furniture. Um, I quite often switch between the two. Today I just seem to be favouring. So this one's the one that comes in the tube, and then this one is the transfer tool. So this this can help you if you have uh, flat surfaces and things. Um, either one but this has got the little kind of shaping that helps you get into nooks and crannies thank you Lisa it is pretty this transfer isn't it is this one going to be added to your wish list who's now considering this one when they haven't before What will the sign say? Jackie, you missed the beginning, didn't you? I'm going to show you. I will show you. It's another transfer. It's um, part of one of the Maisie Willow transfers. Lisa, you said you prefer the tool. Uh, do you know what? When I first got the tool, I, I didn't use the, the wooden sticks at all. And now I kind of just keep switching between the two and I have them always both on hand. Can you hear the air traffic? You don't look to add any more. Surely not. <laughs> There's loads of air traffic. Not that shutting my doors really hides it a great deal. There we go. So that's done. So I'll just show you the other piece and then we'll work out whether I'm going to do stamping first or... Um, so that's the wording, stamping or the, the words. So it says, may the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. So I think it's a lovely, um, a lovely sentiment. So if you, anyone that missed the beginning, this is the... This is the wording comes from this, so I'm using the half with the wording and then you've, I've still got the windmill left. Okie dokes, so let me just see, uh, let me get the stamps out. See, I'm not really leaving myself a great deal of space for stamps because I want these here and we'll finish off that one. Why can't I work out where I want, where I want that? There. Was it that way around? Yeah, I think it was that way around. Um, so I'm going to kind of carry the script, the scroll, not much stamping, just a little bit here and probably a little bit here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do it first. I'm going to do stamping. Jackie, do you know what? It has got a little bit of an Irish sort of, yeah, I can see where you would go with that. So the elegant, whoopsie. Elegant scroll stamp, three minutes late. I know that you missed so much in that three minutes. Make a day. <clears throat> so let's have a look. I think I'm going to use. Oh, they're so sticky, aren't they? That's probably a bit big for there. I might pop that one like that. And then. Oh. And then just do that one. Oh, you see, the thinking, the thinking that goes into it. It's just too big. I think it's too big. I think it needs to be the small one. Okay. And there, I know that you've seen these all before, but the thing that I love about these um, stamps is that the, the pattern's printed on the back, so you can't, you're not guessing. You can place them where you think you might want them. Awesome, hey? So I'm going to use, keeping in tone the sort of pinky colours. This is called Butterfly Spells. 
So this is from the, um, this is Art Alchemy range, Sparks. This is a, a Finna Bear, which is all carried under the Prima branding. And oh, how pretty look. So it's gonna be super subtle, super, super, super subtle. And I'm trying to work out the best way. I think I'm just gonna get a flat artist brush if I can find one to hand. That will do me. So I've just got any old, you know, it's just flats so that I can cover the, the surface of the stamp without. And, and the thing is you want, when you're using paint, you just want very, very little. Because if it gets into the cracks, it won't, you won't see the definition. Lisa, the Sparks paints are lovely. So they're acrylic paints. Very good, highly pigmented, good. Like I said, this is going to be really subtle. So I'm just brushing over the top. It's going to be more of a shimmer, I think, especially over the sort of bluey colour. This is a bit of an experiment from, on my behalf. I've used inks more with these stamps. Um, but I think these paints work really well because they're acrylic based rather than the chalk paint. I think you, you don't get such a crisper finish with chalk paint, if I'm honest. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that on there. Um, I have, oh, do you know what? I don't even know where it is. I've got a block so that you can you can apply even pressure. I think it's in my box of goodies in, in the house. Um, but again, I don't mind, because this is gonna be super subtle anyway. I don't mind if it's got some bits that look like they've had applied more pressure or not. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you see, let me bring it up to you closer. Ooh, love it. Lisa, yeah, do you know what? I've got that as well. I could have used that. I might use that for the big one, but actually, that's come out really pretty. Ooh, lovely. But I've also got a proper block with a handle on, which is which is good too. Um, and I thought I was really organised. I feel like I had everything here. I was going up and down the, gar the garden, getting everything I needed. And of course, there's always something, always something that you forget. Oh, do you know that's turned out even prettier than I thought? Loving that. So. Just trying to not put on too much. The other option is to is to roll some out onto one of those acrylic blocks and um, roll it out thin with a roller and then put it on. But this is actually working really well. Okay, so. I'm gonna do this one. I think like that will look pretty. Can you see that one on my still in camera shot? Yeah, lovely. Yeah, exactly, Jackie. The ex an extension of the transfer, but in glitter, rose goldy pink. Yeah, rose gold. No, not rose gold, sorry. Butterfly spells. <laughs> I think we've done all the bits on that one. Lovely. Slight bit of raised texture, which is probably where I've put a little bit more paint on than I needed. But again, I, I like it. Just that little bit of texture. Pretty. Is there a scroll in the transfer? Some of it. Uh, there you go. Can you see? Lisa, can you see there where it's grey? That's the transfer. Pretty, hey? Okay, so I've done my two scrolls. Um, I'm just gonna <coughs> dry those off. Just because we're gonna be putting that other piece of transfer on. And um, I don't want it to rub, rub off. Sorry for the noise. 
Nicolette, it's pretty, isn't it? the wording next so I'm going to get that roughly in the middle hopefully <laughs> because I'm upside down but I think it's there or thereabouts I think that looks right is that right no other way there we go about there oh look at that we've got a bit stuck to the backing paper that's annoying let's see if I can get it from the other end Oh, and there's a bit there as well. Do you know what? I even checked this earlier. I'll try and get that in a minute. Oh, and there's another piece. Oh, boo. Okay, we'll try and salvage those in a wee bit. Let's get the main lot on first. Does that look about right? I think so. Do you know what? I think some of it's stuck now, so I think we're going to have to go for it there. Because I've got the other pieces to stick on as well. The, um, the mould pieces. So let's get on with that. Text always takes longer, I find, because there's just so many extra edges and so much stuff going on scripty bits and so there is a little bit of overlapping sometimes you just have to pay a little bit more attention where you're where you're layering the stencil but there we go it's coming up very nicely still even on the layered sections I was concentrating. <laughs> you, might, you might have noticed that I do that sometimes. You messed up your wolf transfer. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, it's the bits that are stuck to the backing paper. So sometimes you can salvage it, sometimes you can't. But you know what? I haven't got my tweezers. Roz did a great graphic. And if you've got kind of tiny tweezers or I'm just gonna have to give it a go. I mean, once it's stuck to something you don't want to stick it sticking to, mm. it's a tricky one. It's coming off the um, coming off the backing paper. Technically, it should come off because it's super sh super shiny and not supposed to. But um, so we'll see. We'll give it a go. If not, again, because this is black, text is. Uh, text is kind of one of the easier things to rectify because you can just you can either use a black pen or, or or black craft acrylic type of paint and a tiny brush and fill in those details. So worst case, I might crack open Gracie's sharpie tin. <laughs> oh no, Lisa. So have you had to have you had to sand it all back or what what's um what how are you gonna rectify it? Have you got to start from scratch or I thought I'd seen your wolf drawers and they were okay. Maybe I'm I'm sure I saw your, your wolfy drawers somewhere.
So I've got a little bit here that's missing. Where's my other bit? I've got the other end of there. Certain things aren't that noticeable. And if you're, if you're doing like a distressed finish, it's, it's kind of not that much of an issue. Um, but obviously, you know, a whole half a word I'm going to have to do something with. Oh, okay. It's, it was a bit that the walking wall bit. Right. Oh, no. I'm trying to remember which bits of my wolf transfer I used. Um, and I can't off the top of my head. I can't remember if I used the last one or not. We'll have a look for you. Because this writing has got, um, you know, it's not a full, so you can see here, it's not got a full solid text. So the odd bit, there's a bit there that's kind of curled back on itself. I'm not going to be too worried about. Um, let's get this on and then we'll see if I can get those bits off the backing sheet or not. Like, looks pretty central to me. Okay, dokes, let's, let's have a little look and see what I can do here. Hmm. I don't think this is going to work. I haven't got, I haven't got, have I got, have I got? Let's see if I can just lift it with. Um, that goes there. No, it's not, it's. It's not going to stick where I want it to stick, I don't think. No, Sharpie it is. Oh no, hang on. Right, so. Mm. I've got a little bit there. It's, do you know what? It's a case of, you're not... It's no, nothing's going to be perfect, so you might as well have a little go and see. And I've just used my craft knife and managed to get it off because it's not a tiny, not a massive piece. It's not perfect. I've got a little bit of line that's completely missing, which I think is there. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to manage. That's stuck down completely wrong. Okay, so you. You have to just give it a go. I've time, managed, managed to lift under with my craft knife, but, you know, it's a case of, well, you've lost it anyway, so you might as well give it, give it a go. I think that piece is there, isn't it? Let's try. <laughs> I mean, goodness me, I don't even want to do this without people watching. Ooh. Not bad. <laughs> and then I can still fill in those extra gaps with a black pen. That's not too bad. <laughs> I could sand it, that's another option. And then I've got a whole piece here. Mm -mm. That's not gonna be fun. Let's give it a go. I didn't expect it to work at all. So I just got that, that edge under and then the problem is because it's a bigger piece I don't want it to stick where I don't want it to stick. I'm going to have to do this without you being able to see much I'm afraid because 
it's just sticking everywhere. <laughs> no, yeah, not that's not the best bit. It's not too bad. I can make that better. Oh, I know, Lisa, honestly, I can't believe I, did, I was doing that on a live. I mean, but apart, we've got, I've got a tiny bit there, tiny little bit and a, and a, and a surf, you know, a blob to add here. The tidying up of those two. I'm actually quite pleased with that considering how much was stuck. So it, it is achievable. It's easier when it's letters because you've got, um, it, because it's black or it's gray. So there we go. Okay, the next little bit. Can I be cheeky and ask someone to give me a time check, please? It still looks okay, doesn't it? Patricia, thank you. <laughs> so what I've done on this, um, I've already pre-molded these, pre-cast these. Look how stunning. This is rose gold. I've not primed them. I've had, I've actually had these done for, um, oh, they've probably been in the box for several months, actually. So I know that some of the packets say you're best off painting them or treating them however you want to finish them straight away or as quickly as you can. But this has gone on beautifully. Lisa, 1336, fab. So this is rose gold and then I've highlighted the edges with Blue Lagoon. And can you just see? It kind of gives it that almost Frenchy sort of unusual. I know you wouldn't ideally do, you wouldn't, you wouldn't naturally pick those colours together. But because of the colours and everything else, I just thought it worked really, really well. So that one's going to go up here. And again, I don't mind that it's covering a little bit of that wording up. Tiny, tiny bit. So that one's going to go there. Um, I'll show you. I've left a little bit of this one to finish off with you guys. You paint them black first and then wax. Yeah, you, 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 um, you certainly get a lot of definition in the detail. On this one, I've just decided to go straight in all over. See how much this brush is used. <laughs> Helen, you finally decided to join us. <laughs> Have you been there all along and I haven't seen you? Oh, good, Lisa. It isn't, it's not only me that's noticed then. <laughs> so I've just left... That, that tiny piece to do because I didn't think you'd want to sit and watch me do the whole lot. Better for pigments, Lisa. Are you meaning painting these or if you spray gold first? Oh, sorry, spray black first. But these waxes take very, very well. And they've got a lovely sheen. You could still kind of do a lighter colour, but sorry, a darker colour, and then leave that to dry and pop a darker colour on. Whichever way around, highlights. <laughs> so, there we go. How shimmery. Black background shows the colour better. Yes, sorry, yes. I just didn't want them to be too heavy on this piece. So I used the brush to get into all the nooks and crannies. Oh, look at that, I've got wax on there now, clumsy. And get that off with a bit of wa um, clear wax. So I didn't want to be too heavy for this piece. So to get in all the nooks and crannies, I've used a brush. To just do those highlights, I'm gonna use my finger. And it is quite a bright blue, but once you kind of push the colour around a bit, it calms down. And looks a bit more kind of vintage. It makes me think a bit of, you know, like old sign writing um, that had all these flourishes on. Pretty. See? Pretty. Yeah. So it's just subtle. I didn't want it to be heavy because, you know, we've got some brights. These are the brightest flowers in it. They're not bright. I just wanted it a little bit of a, a hint of the blue. Turn this, get some of that off. That's a bit bright over there. 
and then I'm just going to glue these down and then we're done. <clears throat> I shall top coat everything once it's all on. Where's my glue? There it is. I keep putting it down, not where it's going to be. So I'm going to put that one there. And now I'm going to go there actually so I can see more of the... Oh yeah, lovely. So I can see the D of the hand and I don't lose that. And I don't mind that it's overlapping that stamp that we did either. So I'm just using... Um, yeah, exactly. And it kind of follows through to the stamp. It's kind of got a flow to it. I'm just using wood glue here because that's what I have on hand. You can use super glue. The great thing is because I'm working on, on a flat piece, it's no big deal. What you use, what you want to use. How did I have that? I had it like that, didn't I? There. So that'll stay there. So we've kind of covered a load of products today. Um, we've used Art Alchemy waxes. We've used the Sparks acrylic paint. We've used stamps, molds. I haven't shown you making the molds, but we're using them. And two different transfers. I mean, if that doesn't do it for you. <laughs> I've just missed a question because something else came up. Someone said something about wondering about using wood glue. I use it all the time. None of mine have come off. If you're working on a surface, um, you might want to tape them on if it's a vertical surface or clamp them on or... That's not got enough glue underneath there. I can already feel that's loose. Let me just lift that back up again. Um, yeah, ideally you want it on a surface that's flat so that you don't have to worry, you know, it's kind of, you're not working against um, gravity as well. There, let's get the glue out of the way. What are we thinking? I oh, know, the back of my hand, I told you I couldn't remember the name of it. <laughs> so. Let's do a recap and we're done. I mean, that's it, we're all done. What do you think, guys? It's pretty sweet, hey? I mean, there's a lot going on. Now I'm looking at the screen, it's busy. It's busy. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> let's have a little, I'm gonna turn the camera back up and um, let's just cover what we've done. So the script writing is from the Maisie and Willow Country Wins. So that comes with two sheets We've used this today with the text and then you've, you're left with the um, windmill to use for a different project. You still don't know the name of it, Lisa. <laughs> the florals are pure light floral. So there's some more of this on the whole transfer and then there's a lot of, uh, I think it's French on that one, a lot of French text. So we've got those. We have used the Elegant Scrolls stamp. So I used two pieces from that, only two, those two sort of small sections. What else do we use? The moulds. And the moulds are the two pieces of portico scrolls. I know Lisa, it just can't, it, it's one that I just, it will not stick in my head. I can't, still have to look at the back of my hand even now and I've done it, done it all now. Um, so we also covered a little accident where some was covered on the top coat, uh, on the top coat, on the top sheet. Some of it stuck to the top sheet. We dealt with that as best we could. Um, and I think we're kind of all covered. So, um, is there any other questions? Pretty, do you, do you not think it's not too busy? It's, I think the flowers are subtle enough to let the words speak. I'm gonna tilt the camera back down again so you can kind of have another little look at what we're talking about. Oh, not that much. There we go. Yeah, cute. I like all the. I like the flow of the of the scrolls. I think that works nicely. I think these ones. It just all links nicely. Okay, guys. So, as always, if you haven't already, I know um, most of you that watch me have probably already loved my page. But if you could do, that would be great. 
Um, if you want to buy anything, there's a link where you can buy on my affiliate link, or if you will need to find a retailer, there's a link there for that as well. Um, what else is in there? Is there anything else? Yeah, there is all of the products that I've used today as well. So if you haven't written it down or you can't remember, you can you can go and have a look in the description. It's all there for you. It's all there. I do try my best to help you out. Um, and sorry, I just thought, I'm not sure if I mentioned them again. The rose gold and blue lagoon waxes were used on the moulds. Lovely. I think I'm done. Thanks for joining me, guys. And like I said, next week we're back to normal time. But keep an eye out because there might be a little, actually thinking about it, there might be a, a wee change. Mm. Keep your eyes out. I'll make sure it's updated. See you next week, guys. Bye.